Good morning friends. Today is 30th June 2023, Friday 12th week in Ordinary Time. Compassion and the Law Some laws are fundamental while others may be disregarded certain for in certain circumstances. When Jesus cured the man of a contagious skin disease in today's Gospel, he reminded him, see to it that you tell no one, go and show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses prescribed. The required gift was very small and it served to show that the former outcast was welcomed back to join the community. The leper would be allowed back into the temple and synagogue after years of enforced absence. He would have his self-respect and dignity restored. Laws are sometimes also regarded uh, uh, for good reasons. Uh, tradition forbade a devout Jew to touch anyone legally unclean and lepers were among the most untouchable of all. On hearing the lepers' passionate plea, Sir, if you want to have, you can cure me. Jesus chose to ignore that prohibition and with deep compassion touched the man and cured him. That gesture made Jesus ceremonially unclean and would keep him from entering the house of God until he made amends. This was not a disdainful breaking of the law. Jesus went around or above it giving priority to the supreme law of compassion. One must keep laws in the spirit of their originator, which is the merciful God. Lepers in an antiquity were the great untouchables. Through touch, their disease could pass to other members of the community. The law demanded that the lepers live apart with only other lepers for company. But Jesus did not hesitate to touch the leper. He did not fear to be contaminated by that outreach, rather his touch would heal the leper. The man had approached Jesus with a very tentative request. If you want to, you can cure me. But there was nothing tentative about Jesus' response, of course, I want to be made clean. The story shows how Jesus does not hesitate to touch us even the damaged part of our lives. The Lord has no fear of being contaminated by us. He enters fully into the darker places of our experience with His healing life-giving presence. His concern for our well-being knows no barriers. The Lord wants to touch us just as we are, just as we are not, and not as we should be or could be. But we need to approach the Lord with trust as the leper did. Lord, if you want to, you can cure me. God bless us all. Amen.